Welcome to Mainframe Modernization, accelerating legacy transformation with Google Cloud. Hi, I'm Travis Webb, Enterprise Solutions Architect at Google. Thanks for joining me at Google Cloud Next On Air. I work with our customers to help them solve their biggest, most complex IT problems. And today I'm going to discuss Mainframe Modernization, a new solution offering from Google. This is an introductory talk, so we're going to start out with an overview of the mainframe ecosystem. I'll then discuss mainframe's place in our world today and some common ways that our customers have tried, often with bad results, to migrate off the mainframe. Next, I'll introduce Google's offering for mainframe modernization. And finally, we'll walk through one customer's journey as they migrated thousands of AS400 and mainframe COBOL programs to run natively in Google Cloud. Let's talk about the mainframe ecosystem. First, let me give you a quick overview of the mainframe market today. The mainframe market is large. It includes the cost of the machines themselves, but also the fees paid for the usage of those machines and licenses for mainframe specific software. The vast majority of large companies use mainframes for, to run critical business workloads, and many of those applications have been built over the course of decades. Mainframe usage extends beyond the very largest companies, and there are many thousands of mainframe systems still in use, and each of these systems represents an opportunity for Google and the customer to come together to partner on a strategic transformation of their business. As commodity workloads are moving to the cloud at a rapid pace, mainframe workloads have lagged behind. Let's talk about some of the reasons for this. It's important to remember that for the most of the history of computing, the idea of running important business processes on a personal computer would have you laughed out of the room. The PC was a toy. It was only in this current millennium that doing important things on individual PCs or servers was taken seriously. So how is the mainframe so resistant to effective competition? First, the IBM mainframe has an unbroken chain of backward compatibility going back to the 1960s. This durability has allowed the mainframe to amass a large installed base of customers and a reliable revenue stream for mainframe vendors. And while the physical systems from the 1960s are no longer in use today, many of the early programs written decades ago survive to this day. Second, our IT leaders have a tendency to closely scrutinize the entrance costs when evaluating a technology purchasing decision, while much less attention is paid to the exit costs. Leaving the mainframe platform was expensive and difficult, and for many businesses, the cost of migrating still isn't economically viable. A proprietary ecosystem adds to the high exit costs because many mainframe applications rely on proprietary technologies that are not available outside the mainframe ecosystem. This combination of factors leaves current mainframe customers with few viable alternatives. If the mainframe vendor has a large installed base of customers who can't leave, why should they invest in innovation? While much improvement occurred throughout the 20th century, the relative advantages of the mainframe over other platforms have eroded over time. And today, mainframe customers now find themselves at a technological and cost disadvantage compared to their peers. You no longer need a mainframe to run intensive processing tasks, but if you already have one, you're stuck paying for it anyway. The interesting thing here is that these disadvantages are widely recognized and understood, but mainframe customers had few viable options available to assist in migrating their mainframe workloads to the cloud. With no new customers or developers entering the ecosystem, 
mainframe vendors de-emphasized investment in innovation. Of course, around Y2K, companies started figuring out how to use commodity servers to run business workloads instead of mainframes. Google, of course, was at the forefront of this movement and has pioneered many key data center infrastructure innovations. We serve customers all over the world with technology that we've built into Google Cloud and as at a scale that simply would never have been possible with mainframes. Meanwhile, public cloud is democratizing IT innovations at an incredible pace, and its explosive growth comes from companies looking to leverage modern technologies that their legacy vendors aren't providing. It's no secret to anyone that legacy IT is expensive, and mainframe often tops the list. But lots of things are expensive, and high operating costs might be tolerable if you also got innovation and agility in return. But with mainframe, you really end up with the opposite, a static ecosystem that gets more and more expensive and makes it harder and harder to innovate. Customer expectations are increasing, the pace of innovation is increasing, yet many mainframe customers see a chronic shortage of qualified staff who understands these technologies, putting at risk decades of investment in the platform. Again, these issues are widely recognized, widely understood, most acutely by mainframe customers themselves. And many are saying, we want out. Companies have tried many different approaches over the years to migrate off the mainframe platform and often never quite achieve escape velocity, and they end up getting pulled back in. There are three main ways customers attempt to modernize these legacy systems on their own. You can undertake a large manual rewrite of all your mainframe software into the cool new language of the week. You can use an emulator to run your entire mainframe environment on normal computers, or you can modernize in place, keeping the mainframe but updating the software. We're going over these approaches because they are all anti-patterns and we want to help customers avoid these pitfalls in the future. I've talked to customers in the middle of a manual rewrite who have been modernizing since Y2K. It's expensive, risky, and it takes forever. And if you work with developers, you know it's difficult for them to resist the temptation to improve things along the way. This, of course, sets off a chain reaction of yet more software and business process changes, further prolonging the effort. Meanwhile, the technology around you is changing all the time. The idea of having a clean slate, a fresh start, sounds great, but unfortunately, experience shows that it almost never works. What about emulating the mainframe environment? While you can't achieve true cloud scale performance with a single mainframe, pound for pound, it's actually really good hardware. Most of the problems lie in the ecosystem layer and in the cost structure. So by emulating your mainframe software to run on different hardware, you're really throwing away probably the only good thing about the system and keeping all the stuff that's actually holding you back. You incur many of the same risks as in other migration approaches, but realize few of the benefits. What about in situ modernization? We also see companies try to modernize in place. They conclude that their own software is the primary problem and needs to be updated. At the same time, they attempt to bring pseudo cloud capabilities to the mainframe. This doesn't solve any of the problems of cost or talent scarcity, and it still involves a large manual effort to update existing software. It's a very expensive way to prolong the inevitable. At Google, we have a different perspective. We talk to our customers, we feel their pain, and they've been looking to their cloud partners for a way to migrate these mainframe workloads to the cloud. We've built a solution called G4. 
It combines Google's considerable engineering capabilities with decades of mainframe modernization experience. We've developed this expertise and technology internally, as well as through key acquisitions. What is G4? The G4 platform is a set of tools developed and proven over the last 25 years that transforms your legacy mainframe applications to run natively on Google Cloud by converting legacy code to Java based on open standards. With G4, we've successfully taken customers from COBOL to containers in a matter of weeks. What was previously too expensive, too risky, too difficult is now possible at Google scale. And we believe that this is a unique offering not available elsewhere in the market. Let's talk about G4 for a minute and go over what it does and how it works. G4 consists of three major components, the analyzer, the converter, and the dashboard. The G4 analyzer parses your mainframe source code to understand your business logic and program dependencies and relationships. The G4 converter applies conversion rules to your mainframe code and transforms it into modern cloud-native Java. The converter supports dozens of mainframe languages, such as COBOL, PL1, RPG, JCL, Assembly, and many others, and can also help modernize database business logic, IMS, and vSAM. The G4 dashboard provides performance and complexity metrics about your software that assists in the testing and tuning of the applications. At a high level, our migration process follows the tried and true methodology that we use for migrating other mission critical workloads to Google Cloud. The insights from the G4 analyzer drive the discovery and assessment phases, which feed into the G4 converter, which modernizes legacy mainframe code. Proper validation, verification, and testing ensure that the business logic operates as expected and reduces risk. The G4 analyzer parses and decomposes your sources into clusters, which informs the optimal migration strategy. G4 then converts the mainframe sources cluster by cluster and produces target code in Java that is optimized to run in the cloud. This cluster-based strategy allows the customer to migrate their applications in waves and parallelize the migration effort using a migration factory approach. And I should note here, the code produced by the G4 converter is free and clear. No license, no lock-in, no nonsense. Let me summarize some of the important benefits that customers can realize. With G4, you can reduce costs and risks while increasing agility and innovation. Costs decrease when you escape the capital-intensive mainframe refresh cycle, eliminate MIPS charges, and end reliance on undifferentiated maintenance toil just to keep the mainframe running. Business risk is reduced by ending reliance on a closed ecosystem of unsupported software and a chronic talent shortage. G4 increases operational efficiency, agility, and innovation by extending the life of mature software assets, running them on the cloud, and leveraging existing investments in your software. By gaining access to modern cloud technologies, you can further optimize, adapt, and evolve your software in ways that were not previously feasible. With some of these benefits in mind, I'd like to share with you the journey of one of our mainframe modernization customers. We're working with a large credit da data aggregation company. You can think of them as a credit bureau who is anticipating a 5x increase in customer queries due to recent changes in legislation. Most of their mission critical applications are written in COBOL and running on both a mainframe and AS400 style systems. They're also making use of other mainframe technologies like Kix, JCL, EasyTrieve, and DB2. Due to the forthcoming increase in demand, 
the customer is looking to migrate to a modern, scalable platform and to modernize their applications to support future enhancements. They had thousands of AS400 and mainframe programs and 12 months to make it happen. What kinds of workloads did we migrate? In mainframe land, there are two major categories of workloads, online and batch, and they have different architectural requirements. Online programs process requests and responses in real time and record those transactions in a database as they happen. So if I want to transfer $100 into my bank account, I want that to happen now, and that would be an online transaction. This is also known as OLTP, or Online Transaction Processing. Batch programs process bulk data, often to aggregate records generated throughout the day and perform analyses. As an example, a batch process might aggregate all trades that occur in a given trading day and determine a bank's risk exposure. Batch programs are scheduled using JCL, Job Control Language. How did we modernize JCL batch programs? Due to the extensibility of G4, we can create custom conversion rules. In this case, we modernized the customer's JCL to run in Cloud Composer, a managed workflow orchestration service in Google Cloud based on Apache Airflow. These workflows trigger batch processes running on Compute Engine container optimized VMs inside a managed instance group. These batch processes are Java executables running the OpenJDK runtime environment. For online workloads, we deploy the converted mainframe applications to Compute Engine inside a managed instance group. Because these workloads are intended to be accessed by partners and customers over the public internet, we deployed a load balancer to direct traffic to the VMs and we migrated the existing DB2 database to DB2LUW in Compute Engine. Depending on your access requirements, you might instead deploy a VPN or an interconnect to your data center for secure communication within your corporate network. And depending on your transaction processing requirements, we can deploy DB2LUW directly to Google Cloud or we can replatform your relational database to Postgres and deploy our Cloud SQL managed service. Okay, we've covered a pretty wide range of topics in this talk, from computing history to cloud economics to mainframe deployment architectures. So here are a few key points I'd like to highlight before you go. G4 is a true end-to-end -end mainframe migration solution from Google. It enables our customers to reduce costs and risks while increasing agility and innovation. Proofs of concept are in high demand by our customers due to the potential this has to transform their business. And importantly, Google is the only cloud provider with an integrated end-to-end -end mainframe modernization solution. Thank you for joining me today at Google Cloud Next On Air. I look forward to working with you on your mainframe modernization journey.